Hello, friends. Hello. How is everyone? Hey, it's, oh, you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, hi. That's who I'm always talking to when I say hello, friends. <laughs> hello, friends. Brooke everyone, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Cinemondo podcast. Yes, it's always good to be here. We're doing a trailer always. reaction. I love yeah. the reactions. They're For so a fun. big summer movie. But before we do that, let's just remind everybody to subscribe, comment, and like to this video and all our 5,000 videos on uh, YouTube. <laughs> we got sure. ways to go. Right? <laughs> I think we have like close to, I think this might be like 300. I yeah, I think we're almost 300 cool. videos. That's amazing. So, And all our old uh, podcasts that you can find streaming everywhere. Yeah. So We've yeah. only been doing this about a year, even though it says that we joined like three years ago because we started but didn't do anything till last year. So that's, that's why right. it looks like we've been around a while, but we have not. Right, right. Yeah. We're so, babies. Yeah, appreciate all the comments and subscriptions and likes. But this yeah. film, the uh, re trailer reactions for a film starring Brad Pitt and a oh. bunch of other stars. It's called Bullet Train. It's going to be uh, re released July 29th. So it's a big summer film. Yep. Directed by Dave David Leach, who did Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2. So he's an he action oh, okay. director. So Okay. Uh, and Sandra awesome. Bullock, right? But um, Bad Bunny is in this too. Okay. He's, he's a big deal. Yeah, big deal. All right. <laughs> so it's this called is an Bullet all star Train. extravaganza. Yeah. Let's so take a look Train. At it. it kind of makes me think it might be like that old TV series called Super Train. Does anybody remember that? Oh, God. No. <laughs> I do. No. Brutal. Or, or Ice Brutal. Piercer. What is Ice <laughs> Piercer? Or what was it? Snow Piercer, which is Snow Piercer. Piercer. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was cool. But oh, the idea great. of having something, it seem, from what I've seen about this, I haven't seen this trailer, but it seems like it's maybe set on a train, right? Yeah. I hope it is, because otherwise that's false advertising. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because the, the title is Bullet Train, right? Bullet Train. Which is a Japan, you know, Japan Bullet Train. So I right. love those trains. They're so great. They're you cool. ever ridden on a bullet train? Yes. Not me. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're so clean. I have. They're like it's first so cool. class all the way. It's great. It's so cool. So cool. All right. Let's check. Give us let's the slip. Let's do it. You ready? This. Yep. Yep. Speed. Oh. Not wasting any time. Hi. There's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Got you just more than my voice in here, son. There's a gun. <laughs> How did that physics work? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's arm under the table when they slam their face onto the table. <laughs> yeah, you just saw it. <laughs> Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. <laughs> Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Hey, this is nice. <laughs> okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. Yeah. <laughs> you stab me? <laughs> <laughs> We'll ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you. There's nothing simple about this job. There's something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Oh, Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's just it. <laughs> it was just it. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! <laughs> Oh, oh. I've let you hear. Fate. Well, that's a shit deal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have um, anything sparkling? <laughs> that's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> So it and seems thought, a bit sort of Danny Boyle-ish. Yeah. 
I, I gotta say, it's like it's not. You know, I, maybe it's the trailer and the the BGs kind of stuff. Like, I I, I want it to, if it's too tongue in cheek, it sort of loses its oomph. A little I mean? bit like too if self. If everybody's quipping every right. single line, mm-hmm. it, it all of a sudden sort of takes away from the the actual like you know whatever the danger of this. Uh, it's, you know, it's supposed to be five assassins on a train trying okay. to get this case. So it's a great setup. Yeah, Great and these setup. kind of vi- this sort of vibe of things that I've seen before, you know, those sort of moments where it's like, oh, that joke, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't want to be harsh, but the whole thing. Did you just stab me? I mean, haven't we heard that before? Kind, kind of, uh, <laughs> you know. Well, I think Something it's simpler, it's, probably. Yeah. It, it started making the jokes during a really sort of tragic time, and for some people, maybe that's a good time. You know, I like stuff to be a little more serious when it comes to action. I like it to be yeah. like life or death. I'm like thrilling and weird that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. You know, I know, so. and it almost seems like a missed opportunity because Japan yeah. is so cool and so beautiful, and the bullet yeah. train is such a bizarre, futuristic thing. Yeah. Japan, when I was in Japan, I always I got the feeling that I was in the future, and it's such a it's hard to convey that feeling because I feel like I try to keep up with things, with technology and with pop culture and whatever. And I do pretty good, I think. But then when I got to Japan, I felt like, way I'm way behind. I yeah. don't know anything that's going on here. And it's way above my my ability to comprehend some of this stuff. And that's the idea that that I feel like I want to see when I see something set in Japan. I want to see I want to get that feeling. And especially on the bullet train, and especially with this under underworld, underground crime. Like remember um, you know, the Jiri Haji show had a kind of a strange yeah that underworld uh family thing whatever with the assassins and all the yakuza and everything that stuff is mysterious and strange and it and it can be really scary and cool and maybe yeah, that's this is definitely there. not being yeah. scary. There's yeah, nothing no, scary about this. Movie. No, this is, this is jokes. It's like, you know, Brad Pitt being his, you know, sort of cute, sort of handsome, but you know, obviously capable guy kind of like who, the dude you know the dude yeah, vibes. He's he's is, kind you know, of just, yeah yeah he's kind of jeff bridges <laughs> yeah yeah i mean um and also that that him. was a cover of that one the Bee Gees. that was a cover no, was and a, i bet it was a japanese band right no idea but oh, it's, really? it was okay. definitely a cover right and probably, to, it's probably some japanese um, but it just adds band. to the sort i mean it's when i see that okay it's gonna be one of those kind of movies yeah. and it's not necessarily something I'm going to run out to the theaters to see, you know, that it just looks a little overly stylized, nothing at stake. Uh, It was, you know, all the color lights. um, And, you know, I could see it just being a fun, trashy thing to watch, but I don't see super CGI with like, you know, hanging outside the the train. It it could be like, it can make a little more realistic. I mean, the the bullet train is cool (laughs) enough just to show it, you know, but whatever. Yeah. And one thing, one pet peeve of mine is bad guys who look like they spent three hours on their, on their fashion and their look, you know, <laughs> and the hair, you know, and the, and yeah. it's like when you see a bad guy who looks like it took him all morning to put on his piercings and his, you know, his hair stylings and his, you know, couture, you know. Yeah. But didn't he look like he was supposed to be kind of this groovy disco, like show kind of guy. Like he was so, so over the top stylized. I bet he looked like almost, was that bad bunny? I don't I'm not. I, I don't know who that is. Yeah. But he looked kind of like like a DJ. You know, I could totally yeah, see yeah, sure, yeah, that totally. And I just feel movie. like guys who look like that are not. They don't scare me. It's not scary to me. A guy that looks like that going, he's like trying to yeah. look mean, but it's like, <laughs> oh, you're too styled, dude. You're, you're not- <laughs> too styled. You don't scare me, you styly guy. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna worry yeah. if I come at you with a knife. You're gonna say, no, the suit, the suit. You know. Yeah. And uh, it, it just seems like the scare when you see a movie that's got that kind of heightened realism that yeah. we talk about a lot on this podcast into another realm of reality, which is cool. Yeah. You know, that's what um, maybe this is. And it's just maybe not going for realism the way, you know, if isn't. Martin Scorsese had directed this or, you yeah. know, <laughs> this is just a good time. This is not, yeah, yeah. this is a post- stunt coordinator directing uh, and yeah. doing fun stuff. So I have a poster sort of like John wick. Was, it's a uh, teaser poster. Not that threat, you know. I, I, um, ultimately, gray is kind of deadening, kind of takes fun yeah. out of it. I could have thought like a million different colors that could sort have of been. unfinished looking, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and this is, um, 
you know, again, a teaser. So they probably didn't have any talent to, to shoot right. that. Good luck getting Brad Pitt in a photo shoot right now. Um, yeah. And, you know, they have, the, it looks like this is the actress from the, she goes, she's bringing the sparkling water out. Um, but a little the, blood on the, the chair. But yeah, I think the gray, considering this movie, this film looks super colorful and crazy. It's weird they chose gray, but. Yeah. And that, and there's sort of obvious, <laughs> like, um, you know, computer model, like a, you know, like a 3D yeah, model of a chair and the window. And yeah. It looks like something that they maybe had some unit photography of of the actress yeah. and maybe some other people, and they were like, maybe they were the unit photography. Yeah. My guess is that they did this for some sort of advertising inside the film. Oh yeah, and yeah, they right. were going to maybe use it also in the in the posters because yeah. it was all they had. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. there's that. Uh, doesn't really reflect the film, the excitement of the film exactly. Right. right. Um, but uh, a center Bullock does star in this. I think that was her in the opening scene, uh, the one giving him the assignment. Um, she oh, was in IMDb. So I think okay. she's kind of like the voice in his ear. You know, okay, it looks okay. like this was kind of a pandemic. Uh, uh, you know, they kept it very isolated. It looks like it was on I one see. set. Okay. Everybody's in a different place. Um, okay. But yeah, Everybody so, on green screen shot on different days. Yeah, different days. <laughs> he didn't have to go anywhere. He didn't have to travel to do it. You know. Right. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Uh, we'll have to see. If sometimes the trailers don't do movie justice. It could be they just put in all the big funny moments, and then you know it just looks like a big like dorky movie. But maybe the movie has a little more going for it. Because I I'd be hard pressed to think Brad Pitt would pick this movie off over all others if it just had nothing going for it. So he can do anything he wants. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's better than it looks. So yeah, and not I, super I, fans I, of the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, the trailer. I love Japan. Just, I love yeah. seeing anything about Japan. So yeah, it, it's like maybe I'll watch it's this. A just good, to be, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a great setup for us. Yeah, it is. And let's hope it delivers, but more than the trailer did. <laughs> we'll yeah, I mean, if that. you're gonna see a train movie, just see Train to Busan. That's so good. <laughs> or Runaway Train. train. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Runaway okay. Train. Yeah. So that one too. there you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> so is that our is that our is that our final uh, answer? That's it. A final we'll answer wait. is we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. <laughs> we'll wait yeah. and see. No, no skeptical. <laughs> wait and see. Okay. Well, I mean, I I may watch this if it comes up and I am like feeling like a little hit of Japan. It might be something we'll I want to see. Japan and some brainless fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Coming soon. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.